Hey, what's up, everybody? It's loud, daily yeah, discussion. Yeah. Right now, we're on episode five. Right hey, now, today, I'm with hey. my homie right here. I knew this kid for like, a long time, you know? Like, yeah. this man, like, for real, like, just started coming out with music and, yo, shake J so crazy. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, man? Shit, bro, how you, bro? Good, bro. Work, work. I'm seeing you in a minute. Yeah, got a bed and all that now. Got yeah, the side burn. Trying to get right, trying to get right. I'm trying to get like you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't see myself quite a bit. Like, if I cut my bed, I'm looking like this with potato pants and shit. Like. But yo, like, episode 5, tune in with Jay So Crazy. About to get into the shit, by the way. Wait, yo. Yo, y'all doing y'all thing, yo. This, this is you. tough right here, man. A lot of niggas are killed to be on some shit like this, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate really? it, bro. That's that's all it is, yo. Introduce yourself, by the way, Hey, bro. man. Go by the name of Jay So Cray. Hey, where you from? I'm out of born in the Bronx, Bronx boy. Shout out to BX. Mm -hmm. Raised in the in the sticks, raised in PA, Pennsylvania. I'm just trying to come out and change this, this music game, for real. Change it up. Shout out to Plug Game. Shout out ODE. Shout out my man Denzel back here doing the camera joint. Like, mm -hmm. We all working, man. A bunch of brothers just working. That's real. a fact, bro. That's what it's all about. Yo, so let me ask you a question, bro, because yeah. I knew you for like a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, even so, like, we, we had like previous conversations, you know? Definitely. And like, we was talking before this interview, so Definitely. just like, you know, to see you, I'm like, yo, like, you do music now? Like, and it's crazy like? to see you, like, for real, man. Back, back to, like, we, we doing different things. It's crazy That's how we fact. was talking, not even on this type of level, but yeah, man. Yeah. And it was just, this music joint just came out of the blue, but it was, it was always in me, but. Definitely coming out more stronger. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely pushing it now. That's what's up. That's what's up. What me like? What, when you when did you start making music? Like when exactly? Literally, like I want to say, officially start writing music two years ago. Mm -hmm. But taking it serious about a year and a half, man. Connecting with these guys, ODC, or they brothers, do, Ricky and Ant, man. I started off with Ant, with uh, Ricky. We just vibe a lot the mm -hmm. whole semester just me and him not even on some music thing just mm -hmm. catching the vibe together man and then start hearing him rap and it was just like man this thing is a genius for wow. real this man is a genius and he influenced me him then i get to know ant and of course my brothers that i started with la challenge just old old wow. group we had we was just in the studio a bunch of young cats just doing whatever we could do making music so that's what's up that's it's definitely up. always been around so would you say like you know like you chilling like having like a whole bunch of creative people around you definitely made you just like just like yo i should take this more seriously definitely you know and it's funny because coming to this school coming to mercy college mm -hmm. i was on some basketball move like i was oh, really wow. trying to play college ball my dad was a college coach division mm -hmm. one juco mm -hmm. in the city you know what i mean so i was really a basketball head and i didn't come here thinking man someday i'm gonna make music you know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. a business major. I ain't even business, business major. I'm not even in the music wow. industry, but something just pulled me to it. Like mm -hmm. everybody here, everybody here just kind of built this this foundation for me mm -hmm. to start making music for real. I see us like when I was like you know like when I first seen you group of guys like with you, ODC, Aunt Ricky, right. um, Denzel, like yeah. and all y'all just chilling, just like y'all look like a bunch of creative minds. And I always seen you like always like kind of like the turned up one. You and Ricky was like always, always like man. them two turned up guys like always, in the group. Man. So I, I see shit. I see when you get turned up, you actually have like the love for it. You Definitely, know what I'm saying? I do, and it's not even just music. Like, I I've done a lot of hosting. I do fashion shows, and I've done a mm -hmm. day auction and. It's just like it's it's natural for me to to socialize with people. I love. I'm a people person, so it's easy for me to show my personality anywhere. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I really love connecting, so it's definitely natural. Definitely the class clown. Right, right, shit. right. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Like, and you said you started off of like basically like playing basketball, and then all of a sudden like you just like what made you stop playing basketball though? I mean, I had a little falling out with the coach here. I was definitely supposed to play here at Mercy College, but um, just had a falling out. I ended up just doing my own thing, going finishing school, mm. and then it just full transition into music in, in less than like a, a year. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah, that's crazy. crazy. I mean, was you actually nice though? I was nice, man. I was nice. I wasn't no. I, was, so I, I ain't gonna lie nice. and say I was mm -hmm. out here getting twenty, 
20 points a game, but oh, okay. I'm definitely doing my thing. <laughs> definitely doing my thing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, right now, the songs that you like really like, you know, have out right now is like Waves. Waves, like, yeah, man, Waves. And, that's that's uh, a dope song too. Like, what made you, you? What bro. made you like? What was like the concept to that song? Like, the concept of that man, my my producer, shout out Maniac, man. He's a dope producer out mm -hmm. based out of Pennsylvania. We come to the house and vibe with each other, and he he made this beat on the spot, man. Just played the beat on the spot, and we just caught the vibe there. I'm just like. Catching what he's doing, all you need right. is peace. And then it just it just came together. Like the way I make music is just I hear the flow before I hear words, mm -hmm. and it just it just comes together nicely, man. And we, we definitely create. We got a bunch of projects coming out too that's just as good and maybe even better. And how many songs you have like made already? Like I mean, it's funny because I got I got two songs uh -huh. only on SoundCloud, they're on YouTube, iTunes, uh -huh. all of that. But I have about a hundred songs just 100 sitting. A hundred songs just sitting. I swear to God, in my in my notes, man. What? Really, just a bunch of a bunch of words, a bunch of different mm -hmm. different concepts and everything, bro. So you just picking and choosing like what you wanna. Picking and choosing, man. Just wanna release, I guess. Picking and choosing. I'm actually I'm working right now with my my latest work. I'm working on a remix tape. It's gonna be called Just Different. Mm -hmm. Um, volume one. I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing. Is taking. Newest songs. I'm letting my bros and my family pick the songs too. But like cho choosing songs that not even mean something, or just your favorite song from back in the day or your favorite song right now. Take mm -hmm. that beat and make it my own song and just flip it. And, and these projects are really coming out. Like I'm surprising myself because these projects are coming out really different. And I, I'm showing it to a bunch of people and they're like, uh -huh. "We gotta drop this." Yeah, for real. Cause like and you said, you was like making. Like you started taking it seriously like a year, a year and a half ago, and now you got a hundred songs. That's like that's work. Did you listen to that Chris Brown like <laughs> four, how many how many songs he had? Bro like forty five. Bro dropped forty five songs. 45 I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably listened to about twenty of them joints. Bro, how long does it take? Like man, it's. I don't, I don't know. That's you gotta be a diehard. You gotta be songs. a diehard Chris Brown fan. Shout out Chris Brown. That's my man. It's like I actually remix yeah, one of his dope. songs. Yeah. His old joints popping, man. That's one of my joints. But yeah, that forty-five yeah. song joint. A lot of people just like I'm not gonna sit there and go through all of them. But he's definitely hard for even having all of those. That's a that's a different nature you in to drop all them songs, drop all that knowledge, whatever you had in your in your arsenal. You know what I'm saying? It's, he probably got more. If you're going to drop 45, you know he got more. This right. is, a, this is a, a hit or a pop artist, top artist. For so, real. Shout out to him, but yeah, I don't know about 45. That's. <laughs> I'm like, I'm That's too. Keep. I was like, I'm like I, once, once people actually told me that, I'm like, 45 songs. I'm like. Yeah. I don't know. People have to have a lot of time on their hands. But look, I feel like he's going to influence a lot of people to do that. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to see people That's dropping different. 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now I don't know about. 50 every time somebody drop a tape, that's... Would you ever do that? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. But I'm like, like, that's too much, that's too much, that's too much music. Like, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, like, 45 songs, I didn't even get through the first dish yet. I went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that, it's, I mean, it is that it's too much songs, but it's like, you can only connect at, to a certain point where somebody will get tired. Mm. Of what you're doing, I'm not saying somebody somebody's gonna get tired of Chris Brown. Granted, he got fans all over the world that right. will listen to that. But for me, I'm not gonna drop that. I'd rather do a tape here, and mm. then a month later, a tape here, and then a week, couple couple singles here. You know, mm. just keep dishing it out. Even though I got two right now, but I'm ready yeah. to get it flowing, ready to get it dropping. But even though you got two right now, you did like a performance. You did a live performance. Yeah. Like, how did it actually feel, like being on stage and just Bro. like? Rocking out to your own song, like that. It's a, it's an amazing feeling, and and it's because I, I host so much. I've done a lot of hosting here that it made me more comfortable with performing. Like, mm. we went to my first performance was at Black Thorn Fifty One, and I'm New York. Was you nervous? And was I nervous? I was nervous, but I was ready to kill it, man. I was ready. Mm. I was ready to just. How many people hear this music? It didn't matter how many people was in the crowd. Just got it. They got it here. And then from there, this funny dude came in, and I met. He came in from 105, Power 105, and he was like, "The best artist to perform at this thing. If you get chosen, you you come and you perform at this Power 105 event." Mm -hmm. Then like the following week, Wednesday, I performed on Monday. I had to come back to New York, and I won that. 
and I was able to perform again mm -hmm. for Power 105, and that was just that was dope. There's a lot of a lot of artists out there that's that's really making some noise, millions of followers. Mm -hmm. It's just dope to connect. So that's what's up. That's yeah, what's man. up. Like, cause I seen I seen your performances, and I was like, yo, like this man literally started doing this like like a year and a half, and it seems like he been doing it for like more than like. Definitely. A, a year and a half, like... Yeah, it's crazy the transition I'm making. I, I, it's, it really is crazy. So what did you, like, you know, you said you was doing hosting. Like, what else was you doing before music, like? Shoot, before music, man. I'm telling you, it, it was really just basketball and school. I'm not, I wasn't too bad in school. I'm still in school, but All right. I definitely kept my grades up. Um, All right. I really didn't do much, man. I was regular, super regular. I'm still regular. Still yeah. Insane, but. And you chilling, and you, and you, like, you chill with, like, ODC. Like, I, I see, like, you went to, like, North Carolina with them. Yeah, man. It is, like, before this whole interview, like, you was just telling me, like, you know, with you and Ricky and the way y'all was vibing, like. Yeah, man. That, that yeah. man, that man definitely turned into my brother in a matter of one semester. Honestly. Wow. For the first semester of junior year, we just started kicking it. How you feel being in North Carolina? With them? Yeah, that's a, it's a whole different experience, man. We took them out there. We've been out there about three times now, mm -hmm. and it's just a, it's just a total different experience, man. It's me and somebody else's family. It's just seeing how who he was raised by, and mm -hmm. you know, I, I connected with everybody, and they and we just get a good vibe every time. I love going out there, man. That's Definitely sorry, different. Man. And I see y'all, and I be like, yo, they're a bunch of creative people, like, yeah, and they and they and you know what I'm saying, like. With all you guys, like, you know, with Plug, right. ODC, you, and it just feel like a family, like, right. a bunch of people that's, like, working, like, right. you, like, Honoré, and everybody. It's just like, I just look at y'all, and I'm just like, yo, like, they putting in work. That's a fact. Y'all definitely, <laughs> definitely doing y'all thing. It's just, it's crazy, because I, I didn't connect with any of these guys on a music level for a while. Mm -hmm. But these were my guys, man. We were just going around playing ball in the gym here and there. We... Mm -hmm seeing these guys every day and then to get to this level and see everybody working hard just as just as hard as me mm. it's like man that's this is beautiful man a bunch of brothers just working i love right. it and you know i always ask this question mm. to like other artists and and i just want to just kind of see like where your mind is at right. you know who's your top five oh, right man. now see i uh, see this is the discussion i was waiting for you because you i heard about yeah, your five me. i heard I heard a couple. I heard. Don't 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 be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful on daily stuff. I heard. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful on little pump. I ain't gonna be disrespectful to y'all little pump. I I bumped him, but yeah. Top yeah, five? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. But but my top five, or what you what you what was the question? I'm sorry. What was what's your top five right top now? Top five? Yeah. You can't do a top five, but if I had to, I'd say uh -huh. Cole. Okay, I I I'll let you rock with that. J Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. This is this is crazy. Okay. Cole Kendrick Lamar. I like Kanye, bro. Kanye, okay. Kanye's up there. Okay. He's See, we getting somewhere. We doing we doing good so far. We doing good so far. <laughs> Kanye is definitely up there. Let me see two more. Mm -hmm. This shit gonna take me a minute. I'm sorry. Cause I I want to say Drake is there. Oh. I know I know that hurts, but oh. If we gonna talk numbers. Drake is Drake is up there, but yeah, nah, it is always Drake. It's always Drake that that it's kills Drake. it. It's always and Drake. And I see, I see you were trying to avoid that. I was trying to avoid him, but that's the guy. We have Kanye, but they're like, definitely above him for me. Mm. Them three are, are above Drake. Okay, Drake, Drake to me is just somebody that got to be in that list just because that's Drake. Like mm -hmm. all these years he's been out and killing it, yeah, and just doing his thing. That money coming in crazy, bro. He, 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 you gotta give him his props for that, but. But let me. Uh, so, what rapper actually influenced you, and you listen to a lot that gives you like motivation to like actually make music? It's weird because I don't really, I don't really listen to music like that. Mm -hmm. But lately, I've been listening to just a bunch of different artists. I I listen to a lot of R and B too. It's a okay. guy out there named Daniel Caesar. He's oh, dope, wow. dope artist, mm -hmm. dope artist. Khalid. The San, the location joint. Oh yeah, uh, okay, he okay, okay. Couple, he got a couple yeah, songs out that's dope. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I mess. I, I mean, I don't really listen to too much. Travis Scott is probably one of the mainstream guys right now, and I'm like, I, I could, I could, I could bump that. You making a face? What that mean? 
What that mean? Scott. Travis Scott, man. Tell me, Travis, what's, what's the Travis <laughs> Scott song that ain't good? Travis Scott? Travis Scott. And you think Lil Pump is not better than Travis Scott? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Yo, I Dude, can't this believe is this hilarious. I can't believe you played people are sleeping on Lil Pump, little pump so oh, hard. Oh man, let's get it! Nah, man, I can't. <laughs> I can't with this man, bro. He 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 on the same list as Designer for me. So Travis I'm Scott's not on the same list? No, Designer's not on those list with Travis Scott. Wow. Wow. Man, that's <laughs> not, that's wild. <laughs> Listen, he's man. not. He's not. Whoever you listen to, like I don't want to know. <laughs> You feel me? Like, you know, I, I hear it worse, you know? <laughs> definitely. But Travis Scott? Travis Scott, man. I'm not putting him top five. Oh, man. But I definitely, he's definitely an influential. With, with my music, too, though, because he got a lot of reverb in his in his mm -hmm. music. He got a lot of a lot of melodic, right. you know, type of tunes in his joints. And I kind of take, I don't take his floor or anything, but I, right. take, I take influence from what he does with his ad-libs and mm -hmm. just the way he finesses his voice. I, I just think it's dope. How you, how you feel about, like, you know, you being a rapper in Pennsylvania? Like, it was one thing, like, like let's say if you still in the Bronx and you was rapping, because right. you know that's, like, where rap was, like, right. founded, you know? Man. But being, like, a rapper in Pennsylvania, where it's just, like, nothing but the woods and, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, man, that's it's crazy. Honestly, bro, I don't even think on the sense of where I'm at, necessarily, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get everywhere. I'm not just trying to be that dude. Oh, he was in Pennsylvania, so he's popping in Pennsylvania. He was in New York, so he's popping here. I want to be popping everywhere. Right. So I don't really see it as just being that dude from PA. But at the same time, for me, it's hard to see all these people that rap and make music. And we in this era of imitation where right. everybody just copying. Right. We already have the A Boogie. We already got the Drakes and the Navs and and me, like, people are really re recreating those things, but not recreating, it's not yourself. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's hard as an artist and everybody's making music now, and it's dope, I, I love that everybody's making art, mm -hmm. but it's harder as an artist in this era to come out with something different because everything is so imitated right now. So I feel like it's, it's definitely hard in Pennsylvania because that's where I see that the most. I see a lot of people that just doing the same exact thing mm -hmm. every song. And you sound like somebody that's already out. And it's fine if you like that, but I just can't. Right. I feel like it makes it harder for artists that are different and original. You know? Yeah, I feel like I feel like you like definitely like, you know, you have your own style. Definitely. I wanna I wanna I'm gonna, I'm gonna know, bring out something different. Especially waves, like I, I listen to waves and I was like, it's something different that I hear like from different yeah. rappers. Because, like like I said, like you O D C like right. a whole artist artist listening plug, like it's just like it's everybody have their own style, but like everybody's doing the same thing over and over and over again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, like I always ask this with daily discussion. Mm -hmm. I have like you know numerous questions. Right. You know, like so let me ask you this one question, mm -hmm. and I don't want you to be disrespectful. <laughs> like you know, recently you know Meek Mill, like you know got arrested. You right. know he's serving. How do you how do you feel about that? Like, do you and you live you live in Pennsylvania right. and that's like you know borderline the Philly. Right, right. Like, do you feel like you know Meek Mill is in your top ten list or Meek do you respect Mill? Meek Mill some way somehow? Meek, I definitely got respect for Meek Mill, man. Mm. And it's not even on not even on the fact that he's from Philly. I feel like he he brought a whole different sound to the game mm. just by itself, like. Definitely changed the way people freestyle, and you know he. I think he got a big influence on people. He gonna get the best. He don't, he got a lot of L's on his plate <laughs> here and there, but he definitely he definitely gets the respect from me. He's a dope, mm. dope dude. And uh, as far as his his situation right now, man, I, I I'm I'm with I'm with the movement. I like that people are trying to get justice f fulfilled for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I, a lot of things have changed nowadays, and Mm. It's just a lot of injustice going on. I feel like it's a good, it's a good movement. It's for a good cause. If the dude ain't do nothing wrong, mm. I mean, let's let's get right. That's a fact. That's a fact. And I always see you as a humble person. Like you, oh, like you definitely, you definitely always humble. Oh, awesome. Man, every time. Every time. Man. <laughs>
How do you feel like always being like that humble guy in a situation like? I feel like it's I feel like it's necessary. I feel like, and it's not even that. Um, I'm, I am super humble, but at the same time, in my head, that humbleness is covered by a lot of conceitedness. I'm very conceited in, in my head. I love my shit. You've been conceited ever like, since. Ever since, I feel like I'm better than everybody. What? I feel like I'm better than everybody. But so not on no, not on no. I don't think you're good. I'm better than you. I uh. feel like. I'm just different. I feel like I, I have this feeling like my shit gonna pop. Wow. Honestly. That's good though. Yeah, and I feel like everybody needs that. I feel like you need to be confident in yourself, but also humble enough to, you know, give respect when respect is due. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just just learn. So I want to soak in everything. I want to be yeah. in everything. I'm not just making music. I'm mixing my own stuff. I'm dropping my own things, trying to connect with people. It's just... Yeah, like you, like, when you're <clears> performing, <throat> like... You said, like, because I know people usually practice before mm -hmm. performance. Like, they like, oh, yeah, I have to practice for this performance right. and this performance. Like, did you ever think about practicing at all? Like, It's funny because in, in school, I was very good in school, but I didn't, I was not a study. I never really, mm -hmm. never, I don't really crack open a book too often, but mm -hmm. I did well in school. And that's not a good thing to me. That's not really a good thing. I feel like the more you study, the more you practice, the better you get. Mm. And with the music thing, I feel like it's just so natural mm. that besides me being a procrastinator, mm. I'm not. I, I don't feel like I have to practice too much. I should. I definitely should. But I didn't practice too much those those last three shows I had. I just went out there and really just gave what I had. Right. Man. He was like, I don't have a sound. Like, what's yeah, practice? Like, what is that? What is? <laughs> why are we talking about this right now? That's a fact. That's mm -hmm. a fact, yo. So like. Damn, I forgot. Damn, I th I got threw it off a little bit. He <laughs> um, good, you good, you. But yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Cause I was just thinking, like you know, like with everything that you're doing, the songs that you're coming out with, it's just it's great right. to see you actually doing it. Since, since I knew you, you know, definitely. what I'm saying for how long I knew you, like just basically you just just grew. Definitely. And just like you know, you started doing your rap, like start doing music. Right. And that's good, yeah, for real. Yeah. I'm definitely trying, definitely working, bro. So, like, when, like, when do you plan on, like, ask, actually, like, just continue doing music, like, just to, like, come out with, like, projects left and right, like? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking very soon. I, mean, I feel like we, I got a couple videos that are about to come out soon with ODC. Shout out to them. We uh, went out to North Carolina and shot two beautiful, two beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> Rewind, rewind. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Went out to North Carolina with my bros and shout out ODC. We went out there and shot two two movies, man, two incredible songs. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm definitely seeing around December, January is when most of our pro my, my projects and those two videos are gonna be dropping. Right. And it's just gonna be crazy. I'm definitely trying to get that out, promote that, promote mm -hmm. my tapes, and just from there, just keep the drop efficient. I heard, I heard you got like a couple like you know a song on the plug tape the plug mix tape coming oh, man. out too. That's that's gonna be crazy too. I got that yeah, tape is gonna be fire too. Cause fire. it's all it's a whole different artists like yeah, into man. that. And it's just like yo, I'm definitely gonna listen to it. Definitely. I love it. I love I love the idea of all these different artists on it. That's something that that, that doesn't happen too often no more. That's mm -hmm. that's going back to when Young Money used to do that. When you know, yeah, they had Tiger and they had. Nikki and then Drake and Wayne, they all on one tape. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's fire. I feel right. like that's gonna be something we bring back. Right. And I definitely got a couple tracks on now. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to can't wait to drop, man. So is this music thing like forever? This is this is forever. This is this is something I feel like we was, we was just made to do. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's super natural. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, like that's that's definitely like because like with this interview. Like, when I started, like, actually doing interviews, like, it was something that I got, have to get used to. Right, You definitely. know what I'm saying? Like, and everybody's had to, like, practice or, you know, like they say, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. But that's an understatement because what's, what's perfect, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think nobody's perfect. That's you know a fact. You that's probably think yourself perfect. You probably be like, yo, nah, I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Not even, like, I definitely see what you're saying. Like, yeah. Eh. yeah. And I feel like once you start doing videos and continue to do music, like, you're just going to be on the whole different platform. You think you're ready for that platform? I'm super ready, man. It's crazy because my support system is ridiculous. My mom, my dad. My oh yeah, how does brother. that how does that 
Like, how does that go? Because I know, like, with parents, like, you know, they have, like, a different opinion when it comes down to music. And, yeah, you know, they feel like, oh, yeah, my son's about to be a rapper, but, you know. I really wanted him to do this. I'm yeah, like, like you know, man, be in business. It's crazy because seeing my pops as a as a basketball coach, and he's super, he's super dope, and he knows exactly what he, what he wants to do with that. He, mm -hmm. He's to help kids get to all kinds of levels, man, like, mm -hmm. with that basketball thing. And. It's crazy to see him put he puts in the work for my music. Like wow. he give, he goes out and promoting even if it's something little, he's showing his friends, he's showing people that he might think he has a connection with music with. Mm. And I, I just think it's crazy. My mom is a super fan. Wow. A super fan. And that just makes me want to make music more. And my mom, my little brother, my older brother, my cousin, my whole family is just the the biggest support system. Mm. And it's just it's just crazy to me to see, you know, family really pushing for it. So I'm like, this this is a hard a hard industry. You, it's a one in a million. Right. Kind of thing. It's in a, the era now with so many people being artists and making music, mm -hmm. for them to really support and say, look, I can see the vision. Go right. Do that. Go make that. You making music right now? We gonna leave you alone. Like, mm -hmm. that's love, bro. Like when you was a kid, did you ever like had any signs that you was gonna do music? Like you was just like, did you ever like? Right or Yo, man, it's crazy. When I was real young, mm. I was very into very into singing, and I played piano uh, by ear. I used to play piano by ear. Mm. I listened to a lot of Chris Brown and Usher, just a bunch of R and B. And I used to, you know, some little little young light skinned Drake boy oh, singing and stuff. Yeah. Had the recorder. I was very young though, but and then from there I got older. I did a. I actually dropped one track on mm. SoundCloud. Some funny thing I wrote. I wrote a whole a whole verse though. It was to the um, six foot seven foot instrumental, man. <laughs> the six foot seven foot instrumental, and I hear it hearing that hearing hearing them, and it's just like, how, what are you talking about, bro? Like, right. I can't believe this was even. I can't believe this was even in the. I can't believe this was like, made. Was like, like yeah. why did you make this? But I, I look back now and I see it's in my life. Like, music was always in my life. That's crazy. And now you're just like trying to just now elevate it. Now it's just full it. front. Yeah, man. Yo. My God. Bro. Doing your thing, bro. For always, real, bro, bro. Always, man. Definitely. Definitely. Yo. I don't know when next time I'm going to see you. I'll be like, damn. <laughs> now it goes. I'm going to be out here, man. I can definitely go and link and make more than anything. Definitely, man. bro. Yeah, definitely man. when that plug tape gets out, bro. Like, Shoo. I know you about to have some fire on there, too, you know, bro. Everybody's about to have some fire on there. Yes, like, sir. Plug is just making moves. Just we making moves. I love it, man. Shout out Plug Gang, man. Shout out PJ, Maxwell, Honor Ray. Shout out ODC, who's with my brothers, Aunt and Ricky. Shout out my man Denzel. Everybody, man, it's love. Mercy College. That's what's up, bro. Yo, again, episode five, wrapping up. Yo, Loud here, J So Cray. Yo, bro, it was an honor. Definitely honor to have you, bro. bro. Love it. But I, I don't know how you. Travis Scott, though. Yo, that's crazy. Lil you really Pump. Like Travis Scott? You can't, we can't even talk no more, yo. Take my mic off, yo. Lil Pump, man. That, he's better than Travis Scott. Oh, man, we not about to have this conversation. He's better than Travis here. Scott. We not about to have this conversation, bro. Bro. Lil Pump better than, we, gonna, we gotta put a poll out. Now I'm gonna put a poll out on Facebook. Who's I don't better? wanna put a poll out. I'm gonna put a poll out. I don't I'm wanna put tag a poll you. Out. I don't wanna put a poll out. <laughs> I know Lil Pump is better than Travis Scott. Listen, Jake, do do your shout out. Do your shout out. Yo, man, shout out everybody that love me. I don't, don't want to talk to this man no more. <laughs> talking about Lil Pump, man. Yo, it's crazy. Nah, man, yo, I appreciate you. Yo, you know, bro. It's all love at the end of the day, bro. All day. Yo, wrapping up right now. Episode 5, loud. Yo, I have to go find my charger, like, yo, that's my yeah, shit, like, charger. I'm just thinking about that, like. I mean, it was hurt before we started Yo, rolling. my heart got <laughs> taken away from me, like, when I couldn't find my charger. Yeah. But, thank you guys for joining us, episode five, yes, the sir. discussion. Let's go. Yo!